Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you guys asked me to do a quick walk around of some of my Salines. I think I showed them on a current previous video. Uh, I'll try to get a little more in depth on this one. Uh, I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed to the channel, I want to say thank you. And uh, if you haven't, please take the time to do so. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, please put it in the uh, questions below and I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. So here's some of my Salines. Uh, I have four. Uh, these are the three that are out here right now. Uh, my 85, my 86, and my 89. I do have a 93. Uh, it's not ready at the moment, but we'll get to that one of these days. Uh, so I'll start with my 85. Uh, it's 8046. This car I bought about three years ago. It is mostly all original. Uh, still retains its original three-piece DH Buck Air Dam. If you look at the 85 compared to the 86, you'll see the differences. It does the 85 does look similar to the pace car, but the pace car has fiberglass extensions. These is a three-piece sure thing. The 85 Celine carries fiberglass side skirts and a fiberglass quarter spat. So when I got the car, it was five lug swapped. The original owner raced the car a lot uh, for club events. I uh, did put the original HRE wheels back on it. Uh, they're called Hayishis back in the day. This interior of the car, interior is like basically new inside and out. This car was ordered with the three spoke wheel by Barry. It does have 38,500 on it. The early 85 Salines had the Saline plaque behind the shifter. The later 85s were in front of the shifter. I said this car was ordered with the factory Ford radio also, not the Kenwood. The car is super, super nice little car. Paints is original on the car. The red pinstripe is factory. It's on the Marty Report. It's the painted on. Ford red pinstripe. Super nice little driver. Had it three years. Drive it quite a bit. So we go on to the 86. The 86 I just bought. I've had it about a month. I drove to Texas to get this car. It sat in the guy's garage for, I think, 20 years. Uh, had to do all the mechanicals, brakes, uh, fuel system, tank, pump, uh, new calipers, lines, and stuff like that. Anything you want to replace from something that's been sat in so long. This car, also original inside, super clean. This one's got 65,000 on it. This one is a Kenwood car. Like I said, the later 85s and 6s had the badge in the front. Dash is mint. Headliner. So if you notice on this car, the hatch doesn't match very well. So in 86 cars and some 85s, uh, they had to fill the holes for the LX wing. So there was a few 85 Salines that were GT cars that had to be filled in as well. So one thing on the 86, they went to urethane side skirts instead of fiberglass. And they went to a one-piece wraparound rear valence as compared to the spats on the 85 and the fiberglass side skirts. You can tell they're quite a bit different. At first glance you'd never notice but if you take the time to look at them they're quite a bit different. So like I said, I've done a lot of maintenance to this one. I haven't I need to put a new uh, four-piece headlight set in it. I haven't got to that point yet. So this car is going to be for sale. Uh, I've had an opportunity to buy something, and I may have to sell some Shelbys and uh, some Fox bodies to get to that goal. Now my 89 coupe 
This car is 89. Number 117. So this car I found in a warehouse in South Carolina about two years ago. I went through a lot of this car. It is a 2,900 mile original car. I have tracked down the original owner. Everything's verified. This car being an 89, it does have the 88 wheels. It was ordered this way. Uh, it's a 101. It's the only 89 coupe with 88 mesh wheels. Then in white. It's got a few other unique options as well. The Celine plaque, Steve Celine signed the glove box. The original owner put a Kenwood in it, CD player. Uh, it does have the 200 mile an hour Celine Speedo as well. A lot of people don't realize the 85 and 6 cars had different wings. So if you compare the wings, the early car versus the late model Celines, quite a bit different. Also notice the difference in the rear valence. They changed the rear valence a couple times. I think they changed it in 87 and 88. It was the same and 89 went to a different design. The front is the same, 87 to... 90 they changed it in 91 so the Celine coupe they made 59 this being a 101 89 uh, 86 they made 190 cars I'm not sure the build number in this car I don't have it yet as far as one of one or what it is or not my 85 is also a one of one the way it's optioned out uh, they made a hundred and I think 40 cars in 85 uh, those numbers could be a little off I'm not a Celine expert. I just happen to have quite a few Celines. Uh, <clears throat> if there's some people out there that know better than me, just let me know in the comments below. Never hurts to update. So these are my Celines. Uh, if you guys got any more questions or you want to see any pictures or anything to that extent, uh, maybe if I have time in the future, I'll do a, a one one car at a time to to do under the hood and you know stuff like that when i have time but right now i'm just super busy uh just want to try to upload some videos show you guys the cars uh, uh, again i want to thank you guys that have subscribed and if you haven't please do so I'm trying to build the channel uh maybe i'll have some something later on that's that's a little more unique uh, if that works out you guys will be the first to know please subscribe and uh have a good day